my family and also to the church, to the people who are hearing the gospel of the resurrection this morning. So the something which is going on in my mind, and uh, when I see that the, the history, when I look back into the history, a few years ago, when the United uh, States of America were invading to Iraq, why they in, why invaded to Iraq is that they say that the Saddam Hussein has that mass destruction weapon. And they invaded because people were scared because of mass destructions. Then again, they also invaded again to the uh, to Afghanistan. And again, that the people were so scared about that the nuclear weapons and things like that. And people are, it's was spread. And recently, at these junctions, what happened? So the war is in pandemics or this COVID-19 spreading quickly. It was in that day, December or November, it happens in Wuhan in China about this, uh, the coronavirus was the spread in the wet market of the Wuhan. Then, so it spread to the different country. It was badly affected to Iran. And again, it go to that Italy and that Spain and the now in the United States and all over the world that is suffering. And right now in India, people are locked down or the quarantines because of that. We are scared of this, the COVID-19 to affect us. How fast is spread this news within a short span of time? But this morning, friends, my question is then, 2000 years ago, Jesus was already resurrected and he defeated death, sickness, diseases, and he gave us that a hope of eternal life and no longer dead can hold back our salvation in Christ. This has been still hidden and not yet spreading to the whole world. That's my big question. And this morning I'm going to talk about the victory in resurrections. The victory in resurrection. Please turn your Bible with me. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 8. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 8. Moreover, brethren, I declare to you the gospel which I preach to you, which also receive, which is it? It said, the gospel which I preach to you, which also you receive, and in which you are stand. Verse 2, by which also you are saved. If you hold fast, now mark it this one, if you hold fast, the word which I preach to you, unless you believe in vain. 3, for I deliver unto you first of all that which I also, now, Paul said, which I also receive, that Christ died for our sin according to the scripture. He caught it in the Old Testament, and what happens? And verse 4, and that he was buried, and that he rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. According to the scriptures. And that he was seen by Sipha, that by the twelve, and after that he was seen by the over 500 brethren at once. And all put the great part remains to the presence, but some have fallen asleep. Verse 7. After that he was seen by James, then by the old apostle, that last of all that he was seen by also by one of born out of due time. That is Paul. Verse 9. So also that we see that here, the apostle, what he has talked about, continue in verse 9. Friend, this morning I would like to talk about victory in the resurrections. What is that victory in resurrections? Here, the Bible talks about here, today is as the Easter Sunday, the day of Christ's resurrection. We found in 1 Corinthians, in Luke chapter 18, we found, and also, and also John, and Matthew chapter 28, we see the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Now, our religions, Christianity, Christianity is not based on opinions, but Christianity is based on fact. 
the truth. There are so many religions are depends on opinions and also a myth, myth or mythologies. But Christianity is based on the fact. Now, we see that a uh, few days ago, we see that what happened, the crucifixion of Jesus Christ on Good Friday. Christ died. The death of Christ, Son of God, is the center of the gospel. The death of Christ is the center of the gospel. What does mean gospel mean? Good news, news. But today what happened, the news we have in around the world, every morning when I woke up, I saw that the newspapers, the first page is that terrible, only dead, and all the bad part is put in the first front line. Yes or no? Yes. In the front line and the front page, it is made that something which will be attractive to the people's wind and say that, what happens? That's what people, they want to make it that the exclamation mark, people should be surprised. But those things are, none of them are a good news. But this morning when I wake up, I say, wow, today was the day that Jesus was resurrected again from the dead. That's something to be wow for us. So Christ's death was for our sin. The death of Christ was for the sins of the world. He died for our sin. Then Christ crucified and Christ dead. And now he was buried. And Christ was buried and he was or he really died. John chapter 19, verse 31 to 37 said, He really died. And Isaiah 53, verse 9. And Matthew chapter 27, verse 57 to uh, 60, we see that Christ really died and he was buried. Then the next thing is what is it that he rose again. Jesus died and rose again. So Jesus died on the cross for what? To pay our sin and remove our guilt. And that's why that Christ has to resurrect again. He rose again. That's what they, we see him. And how the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Now the death of Christ was that day a vicarious death on behalf of you and me. How many of us willing to die for someone today? And said, hey brother, you got this COVID-19, let me take it and you, you are alive. How many of you are there to do it? The doctors and the nurses are serving not joyfully, but it's with compersion. It's compersion. And today, this COVID-19 has really taken place in around the world. Hundreds and thousands of people are dying. The questions this morning I want to ask to the church and the hearer is then, how many of them we are going to benefit with Easter, the resurrection of Jesus Christ? Many who slept and who died today with this COVID-19 or coronavirus will not be raised up again into the resurrection of life, but they are going to resurrect again, raise up again for condemnation of eternal hellfire. That is what the, I want to bring the message to you, my friend, this morning. What did it mean to you that this resurrection? Is it that's meaningful for you that Christ's resurrection for you? He died for a sin. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21 say that, Who knew no sin becomes sin on our behalf. Who knew no sin becomes sin. That's what exactly Christ rose again. Now, today is that the third day of that after the crucifixions of Christ. Today is the third day. The third day is when it said three days, that's what 72 hours. 72 hours it covered then. But here, according to the Jewish calculations, that the part of the afternoon of the Good Friday, the Friday and this morning, early in the morning of the Easter's that counted as the three days and three nights, that Christ was that buried and he rose again. That's important for us to know that the Jesus has that victory over death. In Matthew chapter 16 and 21 on, we also see here, 
In Matthew chapter 12, verse 20, we see that Jesus spent for 72 hours, three days, 72 hours in the grave. So he resurrected according to the scripture. Now, the important things, my friend, this morning is that according to the scriptures, according to the scriptures that God is raised again from the dead. According to the scripture means the holy word of God, the holy word of God. We see that. <clears throat> now, if we see that the dead of Christ was that in Psalm 22, it's mentioned that the dead of Christ in the Old Testament. Isaiah 53 talks about the according to the scripture, the dead of Christ. Now, the plan of God for the resurrection was in Hosea chapter 6 verse 2. He said the resurrection. Jonah chapter 1 verse 17 talks about that the resurrection is going to take place. Psalm 16 verse 8 verse 10 it talks about. In Genesis 22 it talks about the resurrection. And that's what the Paul is quoting that according to the scriptures. Which was already mentioned by the prophets. The prophet in the Old Testament was fulfilling in the New Testament. According to the scriptures, Christ was rose again. Now, in the Old Testament, we see that the, the resurrections, what happened? The Old Testament, we see that here in Psalm number 6, verse 5, and chapter, uh, Psalm 30, verse 9, Psalm 39, verse 13 talks about Isaiah 38, verse 18, and Ecclesiastes chapter um, 9. We see that 4 to 5, we see that how the resurrection. Even Job talks about in Job chapter 19, verse 25 to 27. He said that we are going to resurrect again. Now here, what makes us to believe that Christ died and buried and rose again? The buried, <coughs> we see that the fact of that, the empty tombs and he is alive. And that we see that Christ himself preached about the resurrection again. So friend, this morning, I want to talk about there are three things then. The first thing is that the resurrection gives us a new identities. The book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 1 and 2 and say that and you he made alive who were dead in trespass and sin in which you once walked according to the course of the world according to the prince of the world of the air the spirit who now walk in the son of disobedience now here we see that um what that the new identity we have it that once we were dead and sin and trespass but we have a new hope and the verse 3 say that among who were also walk once conclude ourselves in the last of the flesh fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind whereas the nature of the children's rot just as other so we were the children of rot and the children of the disobedient but we have the new identity through the resurrection of the lord jesus christ now let's see again in romans chapter 6 verse 4 in romans chapter 6 verse 4 said here therefore we were buried therefore we were buried with him through baptism into death we were buried here said we were so therefore we were buried with him through baptism into death that the just as christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the father even so we also should walk in the newness of life newness of life a new identity in christ because of the resurrection of christ that we have new identity what is that before if we die we are going to die forever but when the resurrection of Christ make us that we are going to be a resurrected again, a new identity in Jesus Christ. So the first here is that the resurrection give us a new identity in Christ. Let's also read uh, the scripture uh, which is taken from the Colossians. <coughs> Colossians chapter 3, uh, verse 3. Uh, let's read here. Colossians chapter 3 verse 3 say here, For you die and you, your life is hidden with Christ in God. For you die and your life is hidden in Christ, with Christ. So our identity with the Lord Jesus Christ that we are a new man, new persons. And with his resurrection, today as the Easter, 
the resurrection of Christ make us that a hope of a new a resurrection for us. Even we die on this earthly body, we are going to rise again. If you believe in Jesus Christ, that's what the, the things we see here. Now, the question is then, how can we rise and what is happening? Is it really Christ raised from the dead? That's what the questions. The war has that questions. But here, the empty tombs that which is make clear that which we uh, read in Matthew chapter 28 verse 1 to 11. Say that Mary Magdalene and other Mary came and they saw that tomb was empty. And it, the, the sepulcher was open. And when they went and they saw the angel of the Lord say that whom you are searching. They say that Jesus of Nazareth. What did the angels of the Lord say then, why you are searching and the, the one who alive, who was resurrected among the dead. It's amazing that Jesus, and the fact is that Mary Magdalene went and so in Mark chapter 16, verse 9 to 11, Mary Magdalene went and other women, Matthew chapter 28, verse 8 to 10, we see other women went and so. And Peter's in Luke chapter 24, 34, Peter's went and now and Peter went to the tombs and he saw that the tomb was that rolled out and it was empty. Then we also see that early accounts, what we see then in AD 30. In AD 30, we see that the disciples have seen that, that Jesus was that arose. We see that the two disciples who went to the, on the way to Emmaus, Emmaus. On the way to Emmaus, they win. When they walk, when they walk and they talk about and say that, they say that Jesus Christ, Jesus of Nazareth was rose again from the dead. And Jesus joined with them. And it was in the night, in the dark night, they were together walking. And these two were so surprised and say that, they say that how can they roll that Jesus, Jesus prophesy and say that he would rose again on the third day. It is happening. It is happening. That's what they talked. And Jesus was with them and said, Hey, brothers, what are you guys are talking about that? And these two said, Oh, are you not aware of? Where are you? The whole city know, the whole reason know that, that Jesus was crucified and that he rose again. And you don't know anything about that? But actually that was Jesus. Jesus was walking with them. And when they go and they reach to the place, the village, and they say, hey, it's already night, don't go, come and stay with us. When they open the door, they witness that that was Jesus. Amen. He was alive. He arose from the dead. That's what the early, and we see that in, uh, in AD 70 to 95, we see that the disciples were witnessing about the resurrection. Then also we see that the eyewitness says we see that in First Corinthians chapter fifteen we see that say here how many peoples he appear and that here we see that the in verse five and he was that sent by seen by Sifa Peter then by twelve he said by twelve and verse six and after that he was seen by over five hundred brethren so Christ was that seen by Sifa the disciple of that. Jesus Christ that by Peter's then 12 apostles and then it also seen to 500 peoples that we see that the evidence of the resurrection of Jesus Christ and if you are be accepting Jesus Christ and believe in him that you have a new identity in Christ even when you die you are going to rose again that's what exactly friends today you may have gone through with all this suffering in the pandemics of this COVID-19 today. What is more important for us and for you and for us to know is that to know Jesus Christ and his resurrections, even that you die, you are going to rose again. Have a new identity in Christ. The second thing I'd like to talk about, resurrection give us a purpose. Resurrection give us a purpose. First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 19, said here the purpose of our uh, the resurrection of christ jesus if in this life only we have hope in christ 
We are all men and most pitiables. We have hope in Christ, the purpose, the purpose of our life. And verse 32, in verse 32, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 32, let me read here. If in this manner of men I have fought with the beasts of the, uh, the, the best of that Ephesus, what advantage is that to me if the dead do not rise? Let us eat and drink and tomorrow we die. That's what Epicureanism say that. There is no resurrection. Let us eat, drink and be merry and die. But Paul say that if there is no resurrection, we just eat, be merry and die. But Paul say that there is a resurrection, we live with a purpose. Friends, we are created, we are born on this earth, not with nothing else, with a purpose. God has brought us to this world with a purpose. Did you know your purpose? Rick Warren has wrote a purpose-driven life and 40 days of the purpose in life. What is your purpose in life that today you live? The songwriter said that because he lived, I confess tomorrow. Because he lived, I confess tomorrow. Because of his resurrection, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, we have a purpose in life. What is the purpose on this life is then to be a benefit to others. Today, doctors and nurses has been learning for a long time. And this is the crucial times in this COVID-19. The doctors and nurses are have that a great role, great impact into the society, giving the best to treat the peoples. My friend, today, what happened in and around the world? One of the surprises that now, no weapon can do anything. No weapon can do anything. You know, India has that span that the thousands of crores, billions of rupees, billions of dollars for war, buying their uh, weapons. If you see that the, war, the countries, India stand for the four positions in the war pe weapons. United States, US is number one. China is second. So it's go on that. And these countries are preparing to fight and to kill and to protect their country with these many weapons and spending uh, trillions of dollars and rupees. Can these trillions of dollars, can these weapons protect us today from this pandemic? No. Then what else we need? The greatest weapons is that to know the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Hebrew Bible said, the book of Hebrews chapter 9 said that it is appointed once men to die after that there is judgment. It's appointed every human being to die and mm -hmm. after that there is resurrection and judgment. Judgment for eternal life and judgment for that day eternal condemnations. We all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. We all appear in the white throne judgments of God. What is the purpose of that our life? The purpose, the resurrection gives us a purpose in our life because then he live, we confess tomorrow. We are also going to resurrect again. That is important to live on this earth with the hope of the purpose in our life. Ecclesiastes chapter 1, sir. Let's read it. <clears throat> this um, the scriptures. So the book of Ecclesiastes chapter one um, give us that the, the purpose of life, and we see <clears throat> what is that? In Ecclesiastes chapter uh, one, verse one to four, said the word of the preachers of the son of David, king in Jerusalem. That is that Solomon. Verse two, what he said, vanity. Of vanity say the preachers vanities of vanities all is vanity everything under the sun is useless to say that right under the sun everything is useless rich men 
has that the billions and trillions of dollars in your bank account a lot of properties so many buildings so many hotels so many business and the detailers and people have a lot of things and so proud of that what they have but the preachers solomon said vanity is vanities say the preacher vanities of vanity all is vanity all is useless verse 3 verse 3 what profit has a man from all his labors in which he toil under the sun under the sun what is that the, the profit nothing is profit said then job chapter 1 verse 21 job chapter 1 verse 21 job said that i came naked to this world i'm going back with naked rich men today those who have that day a millions of dollars a millions of rupees or pounds while you are keeping today your money give it to save life life is more important than your money and your wealth one day you die and one day i die nothing we can take it right you think i will go with heaven with this my suit my necktie never job chapter 1 verse 21 is clear we came as naked we go back as naked the moments when the baby is born on this earth with the mother wombs is it the baby was smiling what is the first thing the baby doing crying why this world is full of troubles full of troubles and pain and suffering this world is full of trouble when the baby born no baby is smiling but all the babies cries they cried because this world is not our homes in the pilgrim journeys in the pilgrims it is that the sufferings going on and that's what the preachers said in verse 4 again all generations pass away and another generation comes but the art abided forever our generation will go my friend today those who are sitting under the church and those who are listening my sermon today is going to be passed and the next generation will come and he said that under the sun everything is vanity useless is useless nothing is good say. then what is the purpose in life we live because the resurrection of christ give us a purpose in life even though we live in vanities but we have a hope of resurrected again amen the last things i want to talk this morning is that the resurrection give us hope the resurrection give us hope hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 let's read here the bibles let's turn to our bible <coughs> and the hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 say looking said so looking unto Jesus the authors and finisher of our faith who for the joy that we set before him endure what endure the cross despising the same and has set down at the right hand of the father the throne of God today that Jesus Christ with the crucifixion dead on the cross now cross despising and same has set down in the right hand of the father in the throne of god today that is what i hope that jesus was that resurrected again and he is sitting in the right hand of the father in the throne of god today he is waiting to judge that's what the resurrection give us a hope of eternal life let's also read again in philippine chapter 2 Philippians chapter 2 verse 8 to 11 the book of Philippines <clears throat> so Philippians chapter 2 um, <clears throat> uh, let me read here Philippians chapter 2 verse 8 <clears throat> what it say here and being found in a uh, 
<clears throat> and being found in appearance of men, he humbled himself and becomes the obedience to the point of death, even the death on the cross. Even the death on the cross. Verse 9. Therefore God also has highly exalted him and give him what? Give him what? The name what? Above every name. The name above every name. Verse 10. Also we see here, the scriptures talks about verse 10, that at the name of Jesus, what? Every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. That Jesus Christ say in under heavens and earth and those under the earth say in verse 11 and every tongue confess and that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. That's what the hope that Jesus is resurrected and he was despised, but he rejected, sit in the throne of God. And every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Every knee shall bow. And he's, God himself exalted his name. And his name is above every name. Above every name. Today, if you're sickness, you can call the name of Jesus Christ for the healing. And if you can cry out to God, for God, for healings, for your physical your spirituals. That's what. Now, Matthew chapter 16, 24. If someone find it, it also can help me to read. Then Matthew chapter 16, verse 24 said, <clears throat> Then Jesus said to his disciple, If anyone desire to come after me, let him deny himself and take up the cross and follow me. Now, what is that the hope? Why we have to carry on the cross and follow Jesus Christ? There will be hard times will come, good times and bad times. You have to follow Jesus Christ, carry the cross. Today, if someone come and say that, you cannot pray in the name of Jesus because COVID-19 is such so much of the hovering the world and we need the medicines. Someone will heal it. Will you confess? No, my friend. That's where that carrying the cross and follow Jesus Christ. In 1 Corinthians, our text, chapter 15, verse 49. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 49, what it said. <clears throat> and we have borne the image of the man of dust, and we shall also bear the image of the heavenly man. That's what the resurrections. We are made out of the dust, but we are also made with the heavenly man like Christ. We will be with God. And verse, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 53. And the 53 said here, For this corruptible must be put into incorruptible, and this mortal must be put into immortalities. This Corruptible body into incorruptible, mortality to immortalities. You know, when the resurrection, in the resurrections, we are not going to die, no more decades. This body can be decayed, but our resurrection body cannot be decayed anymore. Now, verse 55. <clears throat> um, uh, verse 54. So when his corruptible has put on to incorruptible, on, and this mortar into, put into immortality, then shall be brought to pass that saying that this is written, dead is swallowed up in victory. This morning as we talk that victory in the resurrections. Victory in the resurrection. And verse 55, O dead, where is your string? O Hades, where is your victory? Now the challenging of that, the resurrection of Christ make us that with a hope that dead cannot hold back us anymore. Sickness can hold back us anymore. We are going to resurrect again one day. Verse 57. The strings of death is sin. The string of death is sin. And the string, the string of sin is that the law. But thanks to God, thanks to be God who give us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. 
Thanks to be God, the who, one who give us victory in Jesus Christ. Victory in Jesus Christ. That is important for us, my friend. That's what this morning we talked about the victory in Jesus Christ. As Christ rose again from the dead, and which is important, the empty tombs is the evidence. And moreover, we see that Christ will come back again for the church. As, as we discussed that the resurrection give us a new identities in Christ. The resurrection give us the purpose of life. The resurrection give us a hope. If you are in hopeless today and you have, don't have any hope, then you better to trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. One of the surprising things, my friend, the heavens, the sky is empty today. No more aeroplane. The sky is empty. As I said earlier, the road is empty, the railway train is empty, the sea is that no more that sea on the sea. And the, no more the markets than the business centers are no more, no longer, it is empty. Then what is that? As the preachers of that King Solomon say that vanity is vanity, useless is useless everything under the sun. Then more, what is important is that you have to think about things about in heaven. Today, we know that Christ rose again and he has victory over sins and death. And if you believe Jesus Christ, you are going to have eternal life. Paul said, which I have received the gospel that I give to you, that the gospel of the good news, Christ died, buried and resurrected again. If you believe that Jesus Christ is your vicarious dead on the cross. You are going to have eternal life and you are going to be resurrected again and live with a new identity, live with a purpose of life on this earth and live with a hope of resurrection again. Let's pray.